his head up in the air, and then his white and black patches on his throat looked like an oryx's face. I thought we were pretty lucky considering we're still 20 yards from the car, but now we're not lucky. We gotta get around this guy without having him run off and all this good stuff. So we'll just try and sneak around here and uh, gently push him the other way. they didn't bark, but now they're just going to stand there like that. Just go around and hopefully they push back here. It was a pretty good start to our hunt here at Tucum Safaris. Really, really good start. We had a lot of great close calls, but uh, more than anything, it's just amazing to be back in the bush after a long, hard three years away. Um, 
first year uh, because of COVID and then the next year because of COVID and other things. It's been a long time to be away from home and away from this, what I love doing. And three years might sound like a little blip in the grand scheme of things, but for me, it's been a, a pretty long, hard few years. So I've had to kind of remind myself a few times this afternoon just to soak it in and be present and not be too sucked into the success of the hunt, trying to get it, trying to get it, and getting locked into the stock, but also every once in a while just looking around and taking it all in. I'm, I'm real thankful to be here, and it's so fun to be here with my dad and uh, just enjoying what we, what we love to do. Go. Day two, first morning of the hunt, we're in a new area. Uh, actually looks a little bit better. It's a little bit more spread out, not so thick, got tall grass, and the wind is right in our face, so we're gonna head out in here and uh, see what we can make up. I would have wanted to get right here, but it's so still. He was so close, he would hurt us. That was our best chance. Because right here, he was looking at us through the bush. He had already hurt us, even on this. <sighs> that was almost awesome. My heart is pounding. Nice bull. A single stock all day. One meat not pseudo stock with the wind at our backs. It's the second orange we've seen all day, <laughs> which is mind blowing. And what a perfect setup that was. If we just had a couple more seconds to get over here. <sighs> that was cool though. I gotta take it for what it is. That was fun. Definitely woke me up after a slow day. We've got maybe 20 more minutes of light. I guess we'll keep walking this way and see if we can find another one. Oh, there's another one back there. Whew. 
for some extra luck. Uh, we're gonna sit here at the blind, hopefully just this morning, but uh, if things don't go our way, we're gonna sit all day, and maybe even tomorrow morning, and uh, see if we can get nice orcs or uh, nice hard pieces. Finally got a beautiful Oryx bull after working our butts off over the last few days. Spot and stock, sitting in the blind. Conditions were just not in our favor, but um, this guy surprised us. And uh, it was just a special hunt to, to be here with my dad and my grandfather, who has actually never been with me on a bow hunt in Africa. And uh, <laughs> all day I was just really, really hoping and praying that we could do something together. And, this bull surprised us. I hit him ever so slightly forward, but uh, we gave him a few minutes and he thankfully only made it about 150 yards and uh, we've got him right here. He's, he's beautiful and I couldn't think of a better way to start my hunts back in the movie after a long three years with my favorite animal in the world. <laughs> 